Yep, we're going real hard on it. Um, what's your What's the proper scale? Like, is it one through ten? Is it one through fifty? Like, there's a sixty-seven somewhere out there at a restaurant, and you're like, who Who has that tolerance? Like the Thai hots. I I busted it. my body up in Thailand, uh, being a real uh, real cocky white kid, and I ordered Thai hot. Uh, and they like checked like twice, like, are you sure? Like, do you want Thai hot? And I was like, yeah, give me Thai hot. And that was a mistake, uh, a mistake I paid dearly for, for weeks. My, weeks? the inside of my mouth like peeled and hurt for days. I shit hot lava for weeks. It was bad. It was awful. Um, and also I would do it again in a heartbeat and I would do it again for my last supper. Um, that's exactly where we're going for my last it's supper, for like, sure. It's like your skin, is, are you, your my whole body hurt. Yeah, melting. you know when you eat spicy food, like the top of your head gets hot. Uh-huh. I was radiating heat like from everywhere. Like my arms were like, it was it bad. It was so bad. Um, and it's why Did I you think the dish. Yeah. Oh yeah. You have to. It was also just the most delicious thing I've ever had. The okay. So who would I? Who would I invite to this meal? Um, okay, I'm going to invite Martha Cooper, who is a... Uh, the one from the OC? Oh, wait, that's Marissa. That's Cooper. Marissa Cooper. Um, <laughs> uh, Martha Cooper is, like, um, my favorite photographer. She was huge in um, New York in the 70s and 80s, um, and she basically, like, just wandered Harlem and the Bronx with a camera, like, for her entire life. Um, she is still living. She's uh, still making art, um, and I've never met her, and this seems like an apt time to both meet somebody that I really care about and also not have to live with the shame of disappointing them forever. So uh, I'm going to add to her <laughs> Donald Glover. <laughs> Dude, I'm going to die. Like, let's fucking shoot our shot, man. Like- so Donald Glover is going to join that oh, list as okay. well because, like, again, <laughs> yeah. you can't disappoint a picture. Um, and I got one more spot. It's yeah, three. More. You've done really well with this. I like, there's, that's a very interesting one too. Why did you pick Donald? Why do you think on the third? Is it his acting? Is Favorite his rapper. He's rapper? an incredible writer. I think he'd be really, I, I, he's I don't, genius. he's a genius. I, did he I was going to say, Brown or something like that, or did, I feel like for some reason, he, I, had, he went to NYU. Is it? Okay. He went to I'm NYU because that's where he met Tina Fey. Yeah. Um, okay. I was going to say it would be really funny, but my guess is, like, he's just going to chill at dinner and probably be faded and, and, and just relax. And I'm, cool I'm here for that. Like, I'm not here for you to do a stand-up act for me. I just want to, like, get to know you and meet you a little bit. Um, God, who's my third guy? Yeah, it's like, hey, be funny. It's my last night on Earth. Yeah. Like, hey, man. Well, I got to bring a little funny, so I'm also going to say uh, John Mulaney. Hey. Because he can't turn his act off, and that'll be fun for everybody else at the table. And hopefully he's I'm – cheering. we're cheering for you, John. I know you're, you've kind of had some ups and downs in the last yeah, couple months. Yep. So I'm glad you're glad you're getting clean. Glad you're also Wait. dating Olivia Munn now because yeah, you know what? Did he leave his wife? Plus one, he Munn? did. Yeah. He did. He he left his wife, and he's dating Olivia Munn. So if there are plus ones to this dinner, she can please feel free. Um, that's an I mean, that's an interesting three, and I think Donald Glover and him would be able to play off each other. Maybe a little bit. Some insight from a lot of different folks. That's a really good yeah. dish. There you oh, go. Yeah. It'd be a hell of a dinner, man. Dude, that would be a hell of a dinner. And you don't have to worry about the, the innards. Maybe that's how you die, too. <laughs> you know what? It's better, he than died go, do- it's better than dying in South Carolina right now. He died doing what he loved, eating curry. 100%. Dude. And what that, a hell of a way to go. That, they said the same thing about the guy from Kill Bill. They did. They did. <laughs> some people won't get that joke, but some people <laughs> will. Um, but, Jeff, we appreciate you joining us on this podcast today. Thanks for telling us a little bit more about just the inner workings of the, your industry as well as your job and how you got into it. I appreciate the laughs and the, the stories of, you know, foreign lands and the good times that we'll be able to have when we get back to them. Oh, yeah, man. Before we leave, do you want to tell anything to our listeners that maybe they didn't catch through this episode? Anything I forgot to ask as a genius? All right, Barbara Walter. I feel, um, I feel like the one thing we didn't talk about is like weed. I was expecting a lot more questions about weed. Oh, well. Um, so my favorite, uh, THC product is Wana Gummies. 
Okay. Shout what out to flavor? those homies. I like recently, the I like the fast actors. Uh, yeah, they recently just did the the like the pina colada and the mm-hmm. strawberry lemonade. The strawberry lemonade. I don't, the one I, get, I, I don't like the peach bellini because it's more sativa. And yes. So like yeah. I don't necessarily look for a sativa buzz. Sure. Are you? Do I'm, you have a I'm, turp profile that you like, or do you play off of a certain I, vibe? I play off of. Um, I play off a little bit of everything in the fast acting. I like the strawberry margarita. That's the one. Um, not strawberry lemonade. Which I believe is an indica or maybe a hybrid. I think – I can't remember. I just remember the peach bellino is the sativa, so I gave that – I put that one in the, yeah. the, the giveaway. Nice. And I kept the other ones. <laughs> if you ever wondered how that choice was made, it's absolutely what he wants to keep. And that's true of everybody who ever gets to do a giveaway yeah. of any kind. That's the same um, way how I get my gifts for my dad. He gives the, his favorite one yeah. the best thing, and then I got the last you, thing. Yeah. <laughs> Um, let's talk a little more cannabis. Yeah, so and you've then been and out here the whole time the yeah. wave started. Yes, were you a pothead when you were growing up as well? Not really. With having it accessible, like we were like we love Seagram Seven because that was regularly drinking. Sure, yeah. You know, Not so. honestly, no. I I really wasn't. Um, I'm not like a huge smoker. Um, I've never really enjoyed that aspect of it. I don't get high when I smoke is a, like a weird thing about me. Like I genuinely don't feel the effects really. I'm kind of the same way um, with low amounts of... And so it wasn't until know. like edibles got to where they are that I was able to like enjoy... The buzz. The buzz and, and also feel like the differences. Um, so it really wasn't a thing until, I don't know, maybe four or five years ago for me. Man, um, if you couldn't feel the effect. That's probably, it's kind of like. It's kind of crazy, right? I know. You're like, well, shit, don't waste money on me. You know, kind of like cheap date, you know, yeah. reverse version. It was it was kind of a cool thing in college when I could, like, smoke people, like, under the under table. Because I would take, like, <laughs> dabs. <laughs> I would take, like, straight dabs and be like, yeah, cool. And they'd be like, no. Hit him again. Hit him again. <laughs> and I'd be like, all right, you're wasting a lot of money on me, guys. Like, I'm. Man, okay, so if weed's not your thing, have you ever had cocaine? <laughs> That's the third installment of this podcast. Oh. It's just the podcast at two times speed. Do you call it? Oh, okay. <laughs> is, it, is it called Stoned Up a Tea Key Bump yeah. Edition? It's, there's no hunger. It's just straight <laughs> thirst. <Yeah. laughs> there's no sound. It's just us running. Yeah, and we can't hold the microphones because our hands are sweating. Right. Uh-huh. Um, I've, Hopefully my parents didn't listen all the way through this episode because we're just joking. There is no cocaine episodes. I I have tried cocaine. It's not my thing it's either. It's not my thing. I have someone that likes to just be in the scale. Yeah, it's very much not your thing. <laughs> and I so I tell people they're like, you seem like so bleh, up and well, and it's like you think that, but imagine if I didn't smoke weed, how much more? Bleh! I'd All be like the youngest the kid place. from the, the Wild Thornberries. You remember the one? <laughs> yes. The, Donnie, that Donnie. Was, yeah. Blah, 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 blah. That would have been me if there wasn't cannabis in my life today. What a great Halloween costume for you, though. Yeah, I mean, I had some like really good one. ones when my hair was long too. You could, I did Kurt Cobain and had like That's blood all over my face and the back of my neck. Sure, that was a really good one. That's a good uh, one. Not a lot of people thought that was funny, but I did. <laughs> uh, that's that's the uh, that's the point of a good Halloween costume, though. I feel like a Halloween costume all? is no. It's your moment to separate like the people you want to hang out with from the people you don't. It's kind of like the Mean Girls theory is yeah. what I thought you were yeah. going to get with. It's like, you know, some girls, you can either dress up like this or the people that put shit on their face and yeah. go as like a gore. Yeah. Yeah. No, I was thinking make it make it Wrong. ridiculous, make it really, really. On the toe the line. Yeah, toe the line and or make it really, really weird and something that like two people at the party are going to understand. Like make it a Maybe deep I'll cut reference. Casey Anthony next year. Oh yeah. Or Terry Shive. Oh, I went to I went to Superman one year when I was doing medical sales because I had a ventilator that I was selling. Okay. So I wore I took my own like hospital wheelchair and I put a ventilator on it and I had a Superman cape and I walked it rolled around in the wheelchair all night. That one got second place. That's a good one. I can't believe it didn't get first, but I think it was a moral like. Issue? Yeah, somebody really didn't want to yeah. just They're reward like, you for that shit. This guy is, we cannot, <laughs> we cannot like reward this behavior. Shirt and a wheelchair. It was great. <laughs> I gotta find that. I think I took it down a couple of years when I was trying. To, it was on my social media, and I took it up down a couple of years ago because I was trying to get a job, like in medical sales when I was still doing that. Yeah. Little did I know that five years later I'd be smoking pot for a living and reviewing cannabis. <laughs> I really wish I had that fucking picture. I'd be famous or... You'd be really, really, really fucking canceled. Well yeah. Super, this was pre-canceled. Soup's, soups canceled. Yeah, this is pre... At least I didn't get blackface. 
You know what? That was I've never, never gone blackface. And it wasn't really a thing. What I don't understand is that's never been okay. Like everybody's like, yeah, but I, it was 1995, and I was like, okay, but like that's that still wasn't cool in 95. There, are, there are things that were like okay to do on TV and in media, like for the time, right? Like you ever watched like an do you think old Tropic show? Thunder does not hold up well because that is that I think Tropic Thunder is a masterpiece. It's fantastic, an absolute but you masterpiece. Know what I'm talking about, I know yeah. exactly what you're talking about, but I still think that you could get rid of everything in Tropic Thunder but Tom Cruise and still have like one of the best movies ever made because Tom Cruise in a fat suit as that character. It was to the, date is my favorite thing. And I like, hey, tug or nuts, I'm coming for you, baby. McConaughey was great too, you know. <laughs> Like he, Take he your hand. the asshole agent perfectly. Yeah. Make a fist and fuck yourself in the face. <laughs> that should be a ringtone. Yeah, I mean, my ringtone's the theme song from Cheers, so that one fits. I like but that. I like that. Which, That's, yeah. I mean, we've done pretty good. Should we go downstairs and drink now? Like, let's go see Michael and <laughs> Andrew and Steven at the, the team downstairs. Yeah, let's, let's be done. Do that. Okay. All right, guys. We'll see you all later. <laughs> Until next week, don't forget, stay hungry, stay thirsty. Follow Jeff's Instagram page. Go to Cali's. Go to Cali's. Great seamless plug. Let's get drunk.